Hey, what's going on, guys? Super Swimmer here, and welcome back to Hunger Games Simulator. Now, this may not, well, believe it or not, this may be like my fourth take at this because, like, things just going wrong. Uh, like, for instance, like when I try to hit proceed, uh, it apparently just goes back to what it de defaults at, just like the regular Hunger Games uh, cast. But with that, but, ugh. And uh, it's almost midnight, so if my commentary is kind of stale, I apologize. But uh, I got this idea from uh, Hayden Pearsall, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, to do uh, Cartridge Network vs. Nickelodeon, but as you know, I like to take things a step further and include Disney in the, in the mix. So I picked uh, four shows for each, and then for each of those shows I picked two characters, uh, from that show to represent a district. So so there's four districts per channel, pretty much. Uh, so with the Cartoon Network, we have Dexter's, Dexter's Lab, Billy, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Adventure Time, and Regular Show, pretty much. So And then for Nickelodeon, we have uh, Drake and Josh, Invader Zim, iCarly, SpongeBob. And then for uh, Disney, we have uh, Gravity Falls, Zack and Cody, Kim Possible, and then Phineas and Ferb. Now, honestly, like the creativity of the of the of the titles of these cartoons, like most of them just have the main character's name in it. I mean, I'm not I'm not complaining about that. I mean, I mean Gravity Falls did something right. I mean, I actually did like the show, uh, except that I didn't watch all of it, so I don't I don't have like full feeling of that. But I'm just gonna go on a ramble. On a whole ramble, except that uh, I am waiting. Uh, like the next total drama, anything that I'm going to be doing is when uh, this this decides to finish. So be sure to look out for that. I will sure surely be looking out for that. But with that being said, let's just let's just get started on this. Uh, as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Ron snatches a pair of sighs. Sack stays at the cornucopia for resources. Patrick runs away, Ferb runs away, SpongeBob runs away, Zim runs into the cornucopia and hides. I mean, he's pretty small. I think that would actually work. Uh, Sam runs away, Kim runs away, Mordecai runs away, Drake grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia, Dee Dee breaks Dexter's nose for a basket of bread. Wow. Wow, the, the coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Carly runs away, Josh shoots a poisonous dart. And so Dipper's neck slowly killing him. Ah, even in the last take, Dipper dies. He like fell from a tree, but wow, that's even worse. That's just even a worse way to go. Uh, Gurr snatches a pair of sighs. Mabel takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Rigby runs away. Uh, Phineas rips a mace out of Billy's hands. I mean, his, both of their arms are kind of small and stubby, so I didn't th I didn't think that would be very difficult. Uh, Jake. Takes a spear from inside the corticopia. Finn grabs a jar of fishing bait while Cody gets fishing gear. And then Mandy retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Alright, day one. Zack stalks Phineas. Uh, Patrick diverts Jake's attention and runs away. Ferb attacks Spongebob, but he manages to escape. Mandy tries to sleep through the entire day. I mean, I might be, considering it's almost midnight at the moment. Uh, Finn thinks about home. Dee Dee... Rigby and Mordecai hunt for other tributes. Carly and Kim hunt for other tributes. Mabel collects fruit from a tree. Dexter overhears Gurr and Josh talking in the distance. Zim injures himself like he always does. Uh, Drake steals from Ron while he isn't looking. Sam questions her sanity. And Cody steals from Billy while he isn't looking. Like, from the way I see it, like, these, these things go, like, one of two ways. Like, it either drags it out to, like, six days... Or it, there's like three uh, arena events and they all just die almost instantly. Uh, Billy stays awake all night. Patrick loses sight of where he is. Jake sees a fire but stays hidden. Zack and Gert tell uh, ghost stories about themselves to each other. Dee Dee receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Rigby tends to his wounds. Cody starts a fire, of course. Uh, SpongeBob, Sam, Carly, Dexter, and Ferb sleep in shifts. Mabel dies of dysentery. Aw, that, that, that kind of sucks. Uh, Drake screams for help. Zim climbs a tree to rest. Uh, Kim goes to sleep. 
Mordecai and Josh work together to drown Phineas. Yikes, that's that's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. Especially on a little kid, that's actually pretty... Br well, this is the Hunger Games, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just contradicted myself a little bit. Uh, Finn thinks about winning. Ron and Mandy run into each other and decide to choose for the night. And uh, day two. Cody receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Rigby tends to Kim's wounds. Zack shoots an arrow at Ger, but misses and kills Spongebob instead. Fur camouflages himself in the bushes. I mean, that would kind of work because he's got green hair, I guess. Uh, Patrick, Mandy, Finn, and Dee Dee hunt for other tributes. Freaking fly in my face. Uh, Jake travels to higher ground. Carly begs for Daxter to kill her. He refuses, keeping Carly alive. Mordecai steals from Juan. From Juan. Ron, uh, while he isn't looking. Josh collects fruit from a tree. Again, I'm, I'm pretty tired at the moment. I just want to be productive for once. Uh, Zim defeats Billy in a fight, but spares his life. Uh, Sam di Sam thinks about home, and Drake dies from thirst. Really? It's it's only day two. How do you die of thirst? Like, how, how does that even work? You have three days before you die of thirst. Not two, but whatever, I guess. If you're, like, s sweating a whole bunch, you that, that time would go down. So I guess that's a little bit more realistic of, a, of that kind of death. You know, like, starving to death, like, day two, that, that's not realistic, but... Dying of thirst, day two, like, if you're running around an arena, like, exerting all that energy, like, you're you're gonna sweat, so, I, I'm i pretty sure that is actually possible to die of thirst in, within two days, so, yeah, good good on you, Brant Steele, good on you, uh, four can shots, Mabel, Phineas, Spongebob, and Drake, and I forgot to introduce, and I forgot to say Dipper, so, yep, Dip, Dipper's dead also, uh, Zack, Dee Dee, Jake, and Ron sleep in shifts. Mordecai receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Cody and Kim tell each other, or tell stories about themselves by, about themselves to each other. I thought that was about the uh, ghost stories and stuff like that, but it's not. Mandy thinks about home. Josh sets up camp for the night. Rigby and Finn talk about the tribute still alive. Patrick cooks his food before putting his fire out. Carly, Billy, and Zim get into a fight. Billy triumphantly kills them both. Wow, with his stubby arms. Uh, pretty pretty impressive, Billy. Pretty impressive. Even though, like, 40% of your body mass is in your nose. I, I don't... Again, I have I don't know. Uh, Gurr and Dexter run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Ferb strangles Sam after engaging in a fist fight. Ow. Ow. Uh, day three, Mordecai, Gerd, Dexter, Ferb, and Mandy hunt for other tributes. Cody practices his archery. Uh, Patrick receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Uh, Finn, Dee Dee, and Zach hunt for other tributes. Rigby chases Jake. Kim taints Josh's food, killing him. Billy receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. And, uh, Ron travels to higher ground. Four can shots, Carly, Zim, Sam, and, uh, Josh. All right, night three. Ferb forces Patrick to kill Jake or Cody. He decides to kill Cody. Uh, Dee Dee climbs a tree to rest. Kim looks at the night sky. Manny tends to her wounds. Dexter cries himself to sleep. Zach and Billy track down and kill Rigby. Gerb receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. And Mordecai sets the explosive off, killing Ron and Finn. All right, day four. Gerb makes a wooden spear. Ferb overhears Patrick and Dee Dee talking in the distance. Mandy sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Dexter, Billy, Kim, Zach, and Jake hunt for the tributes, and Mordecai discovers a cave. Another four cannon shots. I'm sensing a pattern here. Uh, Cody, Rigby, Ron, and Finn. Uh, so or Zach tries to sing himself to sleep. I thought that, like, legitimately, I thought that said hang himself to sleep. <laughs> Man, I... I really need to get I really need to get to bed after I upload this. I am just tired and rambling. Man, this 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 can't be healthy for me. Uh Gurr receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Patrick is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Jake destroys Mandy's supplies while she is asleep. Dee Dee screams for help. Kim begs for Billy to kill her. He refuses keeping him a lot keeping Kim alive. Not him, Kim. There's a difference. Uh, Dick starts a fire. Dick. Oh my god. Dexter starts a fire. <laughs> Again, I am just, I am just, uh, 
falling all over my words at the moment. Uh, Jake sprains his ankle while running away from Dexter. Zack discovers a cave. Billy explores the arena. Patrick scares Gurr off. Kim and Mandy work together for the day. Mordecai fishes and Dee Dee scares Ferb off. Are, are you, are you going to kill each other or not? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ferb and Dee Dee run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Mandy convinces Mordecai to snuggle with her. She, Mordecai, she, she's 10. You're, you're like, what? I think she was, uh, like, mid-20s. A little bit creepy, not gonna lie. Uh, Patrick kills Zack with a hatchet. Jake, Kim, and Gurr get into a fight. Jake cri triumphantly kills them both. It's not really triumphantly. I mean, he is a magic dog that could just strangle them and tear them apart at, like, at his... Yeah, he's, he's pretty, pretty tough. Dexter is unable to start a fire and sleeps that warmth. Uh, Billy receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Uh, the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Uh, Mandy, Jake, Billy, and Ferb team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Patrick decides not to go. Dee Dee is unable to convince Mordecai to not kill her, so Dee Dee's dead. And then Dexter decides not to go. So we're down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're down to 7 on day 6. So yeah, it is just going to be like this. Ferb and Jake work together for the day. Patrick, Dexter, Mandy, Billy, and Mordecai hunt for the tributes. Not much to hunt because there's only two left. One of them's a magic dog and one's one's a child. Uh, four can shots again with a four. Uh, Zach, Kim, Gurr, and Dee Dee. Things should start to wind down pretty quick here. Uh, Manny sets an explosive off, killing Patrick, Dexter, Ferb, and Billy. Wow. That is really impressive, Manny. Really impressive. Jake is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Come on, Mordecai. You got you got this. And he tends to his wounds. Manny makes a wooden spear. Ja Jake attacks Mordecai, but he manages to escape. Four can shots. Patrick, Dexter, Ferb, and Billy. Uh, Manny... Mordecai and Jake get into a fight. Jake triumphantly kills them both. Dang it, Mordecai! I thought I thought you would take this take this for us. Oh my God! I actually did like a regular show uh, when I actually watch TV. I don't really watch TV anymore. I'm mainly just on YouTube all day. It's uh it it's a life. It's not a it's not a very good one, but but it is my life. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, so anyway, Jake is the winner. Congratulations. Uh. That's going to be it for this episode because I am just going to probably just go on a huge rant about something if I don't stop now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more uh, for more videos and for a chance to get in the, in the subscriber Hunger Games, which I do every 100 or so. Uh, my next one's going to be at 300 subs, so be sure to stick around for that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.